Greetings, Prince Harry. It is I, Loki, God of Missing Chiefs. Not to be mistaken for the God of Ruin, which I am clearly not. And I would like to invite you on a quest to save the world. And we will be launching a mystical adventure with our friends in Japan. Now, The thing about this that I had my people try to make was, while completed well under budget, we can't exactly use it the way we need to use a ship right now. So I was wondering if you would ask the Queen if we could borrow a pair of her ships. <sighs> Look at that. Isn't it a beauty? Black as space. Red with shrimp. Just like me. Traditionally as close to traditional as I could get. It's not like robes from Mars are in great supply nowadays. But, uh, you know, a bit more comfortable and stylish for today. Now, see, I was thinking what we would do is set up shop in that area, fix these old boats up, and, uh, save a bunch of children. And the thing about doing all that would be kind of difficult without some friends. The Magical Princess Brigade. Now, I, Loki, the god of missing chiefs, may in fact be powered by magical princesses. I'm not really sure. It's not like there's a book on evil wizards. And since I am one of Earth's evil space wizards, I think that it would only be fitting to be the one who arranges this brigade to do some children's saving. Because, of course, we're going to have to inspire people and also give them something to look up to. And magical princesses with actual magic powers is definitely one of the ways to accomplish this. Now, you might be asking yourself, why would I work with the crazy Merlin? Well, because I'm the Merlin, and you would get to basically get Merlin, and then more Merlin. And so therefore, the investment is totally worth it. So, now, what we're going to do is we are going to get FRO7, and Freddy Frog, myself, and... Then what we were going to do is we were going to run the sequence after, and we will be, in fact, saving a monument of Red Britain. The monument that we will be saving, along with the children, is, of course, the Queen Mary. And that submarine that she apparently bought a long time ago. 
So, following the end of this, you may want to look at some additional exploits uh, since then that the British weren't necessarily involved in. And so, there were some additional things that were of note, and then later on, of interest. And so, I present to you a series of movies thereafter. You will notice and be able to review whether or not you think that working with, for the lack of a better term, intelligence cartel head, Commander Loki, excuse me, um, and, of course, magical princesses. They're kind of related. It's your kind of thing, really. Uh, and I'll leave that up to you to explain further uh, at the start of the kickoff. But, they will bring a lot of important things to the table. A lot of dynamic things that have never existed before. And as you know, uh, when dealing with people that uh, prey on your predictability, providing unpredictability at every turn uh, is a great tool to have. It allows everything to be totally flexible that was not before. I mean, uh, can you ever think of a time that a woman automatically already knew exactly what she wanted and was predictable? Exactly. And that is why Magical Princesses Brigade is very important. It takes things that were set in stone and just liquefies them into whatever we want. And now, remember, at the very end, there will be some movies for you to review. And if you like what you see, and the results that you get, consider by my pad or command center as soon as possible because you know I'm like down to 10 bucks and uh, you know remember it's an adventure you know so we're gonna have fun but it's going to be actually perilous so uh, you know and uh, also, if you want to bring any friends, remember, I'm the god of missing chiefs. I'm a total liar. And I'm crazy. So therefore, anything I say is totally deniable. Unless, of course, we're all telling the truth all the time. Which, in that case, it doesn't really matter. Anyway... It did occur to me that following the command of an American mercenary and you being a prince of the realm just won't do. And so, me being the evil wizard that I am and all about the space, why don't we settle on never doubt my evilness? And since I know better, everyone can just assume that 
you're following the correct answer every single time. And their opinion need not matter. On what may or may not be actually happening. <laughs> I'm the uh, god of missing cheeks. And in case you're wondering, And my trigger for going Winter Soldier is... Yo, Joe!